be making bases. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It is your man, Ever J Music, owner of Beat Making Basics, and we're back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, please go ahead and do a, me a favor and subscribe and hit that like button and leave a comment, man, so we know uh, what you thought about the video. But um, in today's video, what I'm gonna be talking about is Logic Pro 10's 10.5 Quick Sampler, okay? Um, it's pretty much going to be an introduction to that sampler. Um, previously, if you've been using Logic Pro 10, we've been using the EXS24 sampler, which is a dope sampler. But this quick sampler, man, I'm telling y'all, is a lot easier to use, especially if you're a newbie or a beginner, right? So let's go ahead and create a new track. And what I'm going to do is scroll down here, basically to the instrument part, and we're going to go to where you would have seen EXS24 sampler is going to be quick sampler. Click on stereo. I'm going to go ahead and close the sounds and we'll just pull this up here. And I'm using a MIDI keyboard. So just so you can see what I got going on right there, I'm going to pull up the uh, musical typing so you can kind of see what I'm pushing. All right. I'm going to push this up right here. Okay. So this is the quick sampler okay this is a quick sampler it looks different that's the first thing you're going to see and two there's not a whole lot of extra buttons that you have to push in order to drag and drop samples in this little window anywhere on your computer whether it's in logic or whatever you can just drag and drop a sample in here we can chop it up okay so what i'm going to do is we're going to start with some apple loops so if you go to the top right of your your um, screen and click on the loop browser you're gonna see Apple loops pop up okay um, so like say let's say if you want to mess with some drums what you could do is you can click on instrument and go to kits and then you can click on genre and then pick whatever genre you want you know whether you are a rock person country person you know future bass uh, you know electronic person you know whatever but i like to use hip-hop beats okay so or make hip-hop beats so we're going to click on that hip-hop and then all you got to do is just listen to some of these samples that you want to use or some of these loops that you want to use and we're going to just going to drop um drop them in here so let me just audition some of them all right we can use any of them. All of them were sounding pretty dope. I'm gonna use this moving on the beat one. So what I would do is just literally click it and drag it in. Now there's two different ways you can drag it in. You can drag it in using the original tuning, loudness, looping, and length. But I usually uh, would suggest you do the optimize. This is for optimized tuning, loudness, searching for loop points, and cropping the silence. So we'll just drag it over here to the right. And as you can see, boom, the sample's in here. Now, I want you to pay attention to the top right here. There's basically three main buttons that you're gonna be using, a fourth one that we'll talk about maybe in another video, but there's three main vid, uh, buttons that you're gonna be using. One is the classic version of this. So if I touch anywhere on my keyboard, it's pretty much going to play however long I hold down a note. Another cool thing that you can notice here is that it's already mapped to each note, okay? So I don't have to come in here and then select um, from C1 all the way to C10 or something like that. It already does it for you, which is pretty dope. All right, I'm also gonna go over here and turn off the uh, reverb. We have some buses going with reverb. All right, so the next button is gonna be our one shot button. If you click that, it's pretty much gonna play the sample um, if you just hit it one time. Okay, so you literally don't have to hold it down. Um, you just hit it one time with the one shot. I like, I like using the classic version because it gives you more like control over it. But um, the third one we're gonna talk about is slice. Now, this is where it gets interesting. This is real, literally when you click this button, it's literally going to go in here and chop up the sample for you. You're not going to have to do a whole lot of work chopping it up. So super simple. So we're going to click there. As you can see, it 
get chopped up to sample for you. Now, a cool thing to look at is down here, right below this area right here, you're gonna see some different um, options. One option I'm gonna, or the first option we're gonna talk about is this. You can click between whether the sample plays on all black keys, all white keys, or the chromatic version where it's gonna be the regular way you play the, play the piano, so white, black, Okay. Another thing we're going to talk about is the sensitivity. And when we're talking about sensitivity, this is going to actually be how um, fine your, your sample is chopped or, you know, how wide the sample is chopped. So if I turn the sensitivity down, you, can, you might get more of the sample. Okay, and another cool thing is you can right now we're chopping it up um, via the transients. You can also come in here and do beat division. You can also do equal divisions. You can also do manual where you can come in here and you can chop up the sample if however you would like to. Um, also, if you're using the mouse, you can scroll up or down and it'll zoom in for you. Same thing with the trackpad. You can scroll up or down like this. Uh, within this so you can really zoom in if you want just by scrolling up and I can come over here and chop this up I can move this okay so it's, it's pretty cool here um, I usually just keep it simple and we're just gonna just you know adjust it here all right now the other thing I'm gonna talk about We'll just bring some more of this sample in here is these options down here. Now, what these are going to allow you to do is this really shape shift your sample to your liking. So I can come over here and pitch it if I want. I even can do it like a little finer. I can make it glide if I want to. This would be great for like 808s. And we can use an envelope. Okay. We also have this filter option. And they got different things here. All right, so let's say you, you like the way that it's chopped up, you like the way that you've uh, switched it up and you know in, you know moved it around and you know manipulated the sample. Now we gotta save it, right? So what you can do is you can go to the factory default, go to save as, and just give it a name. Let's just say D sample. And then you just um, save it. So now anytime that you want to pull this up, you can just go over here and your, your samples will be right there. You can pull them up like that. So um, the last thing I'm going to show you before we end this video, I'm just going to come over here and go to recall default. And last thing I'll show you is you have some other samples that are already chopped up for you. Um, you have access to several different samples right here. So all you got to do, let's just go to chords. We can just go to chords, disrupted chords. You can always come in here and manipulate this stuff as well. You can slice up. One shot it. You can go some keys.
slice it. And they also had this slice right here, and you have some drums, some dope drums already lo loaded. So there's a lot of different freedom that you have here, man. I mean, really, I, I would say that this is a great update when it comes to going from Logic Pro 10's uh, later versions to Logic Pro 10 10.5. So that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about when it comes to the new quick sampler. If you like this video, please hit that like button and leave me a comment. And I will see y'all in the next video. Appreciate y'all.